Hello, everybody. I'm Francesca Santoro, Program Specialist of the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission of UNESCO, where I'm the focal point for ocean literacy. Uh, first of all, let me tell you that I'm very happy to be able to address you and, and I would like to thank the organizers for inviting me. I've been asked to say a few words about why it is important to increase ocean literacy of everybody on this planet. Well, I don't think I have to say too many words to an audience like you regarding why the ocean is so important for the very survival of our species on this planet and the very survival of this planet. Uh, we depend uh, from the ocean for energy, for food, for uh, economy, uh, and increasingly uh, more and more we are understanding also how much our health uh, depend uh, from the ocean. So um, we need uh, to protect the ocean to, uh, uh, to, continue, uh, be, to continue to be able to live on this planet. Uh, and in order to do so, let me remind um, the words that Jacques Cousteau was saying, as, you, as many of you might remember, he was saying that we only protect what we love, we only love what we understand, and we only understand what we are taught. So that's the very essence of ocean literacy. It is about increasing everybody's awareness. It is not only actually, that's the very starting point of ocean literacy. Ocean literacy is much more than becoming aware. Ocean literacy is really about uh, empowering people with tools to make action. As you might know, uh, the uh, United Nations uh, declared 20, 2021 to 2030, the decade of ocean science for sustainable development. And uh, we, as the uh, Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission of UNESCO, have been mandated to uh, manage and to coordinate all the activities uh, of the ocean decade. Uh, ocean literacy is crucial for this decade. Why? Because uh, we want to make a sort of revolution in the way the ocean is studied, uh, to move from uh, describing uh, phenomena to really uh, propose solutions, solutions to the numerous issues that we have to uh, consider and dealt with when, when it comes to ocean health. And of course, I'm talking about the climate crisis, I'm talking about biodiversity loss, I'm talking about over-exploitation of living and non-living marine resources. Uh, so uh, if we want uh, to propose solutions, of course, the scientific world by itself cannot do that. We need everybody on board. We need the private sector, we need NGOs, uh, we need uh, governments to be able to really not only uh, uh, describing, as I was saying, phenomena, but really putting in place a solution to mitigate, for example, uh, the impacts of climate change. And in order to do so, we need, again, as I was saying before, to make everybody more aware, uh, more aware of why it is so important to study the ocean uh, that we know very little about still. Um, so uh, let me conclude by telling you, and in particular, I'm, I'm addressing young people that might be here uh, to tell everybody to become ambassadors of this message, to encourage everybody to uh, not only maybe become marine scientists, but to um, consider that every, any type of job that we might do can have uh, a specific um, interest for the ocean. So we might be lawyers, we might be entrepreneurs, and we can all uh, do our jobs having a specific attention to uh, the potential impact of what we do on the ocean and how we can do our job uh, caring about the ocean and protecting the ocean. So um, I wish you fruitful uh, discussion. I hope that this festival will be a success and I really hope to be able, able to work with you all uh, during the next 10 years uh, to um, reverse uh, the trend in the decline of ocean health and to uh, create together the Generation Ocean. Thank you.